Hey now, you're a math star, get your game on, go count. Hey now, you're a math star, get your game on, go add. When all that counting is done, we'll be adding sums. How are you today, math stars? I hope you're ready for some math. All right. So today we are in module two, lesson five. And you are going to be on page 45. Let me show you what that looks like. This is what it looks like, page 45. How do we write 45? A four and then a five. And that number will be down at the right hand corner. So if you haven't already gotten your math book, go ahead and get it and a pencil. All right. Let me pause this while you get that. Okay, here we go. Lesson five, I can make groups of one to five in the correct order. We can make the groups in the correct order. What does that mean? I guess we'll see. All right, use cube towers to represent the logs on the truck. Place the cube towers in order from one to five on the logs. What do you notice about the cube towers in order? Hmm. Okay, well, I'm gonna show you some cube towers. Okay, in just a minute. First, let's count. At the very top, how many logs are there on this top row? One. Let's go to the next one. One, two. Hmm. How many in the next row? One, two, three. What are you noticing? Hmm. One bigger each time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I'm gonna show you some cube towers, okay? And we could represent, here's one, two cubes, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. What do you notice about these? Did you say it looks like stairs? It kind of does. But what do you notice? There's one. Does it get smaller each time? Did you say it gets bigger? It does. One, one, two. There's one more each time, right? That's how we put it in order. This isn't in your book, by the way. Okay, so this is, let's go to number two. Point as you count the first counter, trace the number. How many are there? One, and then you write the number one. Point as you count the next group of counters. One, two, hmm, and write the number two. What do you think is going to be next? Let's see. I'm going to do some, here we go. One, two, three, four. Is that the correct order? Would four come after two? Ay, ay, ay. That's a big jump up. That must not be right. How about that? One, two, three. Is that better? Yeah. Okay, now let's do again. One, two, three, four. Is that right? One, two, three, four. Five, I did five. Okay, you have to put them in the right order. Otherwise it would be a really silly staircase, wouldn't it? What if I, oops, had it like this. Oops, that's a funny looking staircase. We want it to be in order. So, here we go. One, two, do you remember how you write a three? Oops. Nope, sorry. Okay. 
technical difficulties. Three, make sure it's not backwards. Some people, sometimes we write it like that. And that's really common. So if you did, that's okay. Just erase it and write it over. Three, four, six. Is that right? One, two, three, four, six. Oh, no, that's not right. Let me count. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, five. I can do a five. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. Why don't you pause this while you do that? Okay, this is the on your own. Remember, I'm gonna read it to you, read the directions, you're gonna do it, and then you're gonna show your homeschool teacher this page, okay? So count the hot air balloons in each group. Write the number that's in each group below it, but then, down here, you're gonna write the numbers in counting order. So for example, this they did the first one for you. Let's count those hot air balloons. One, two, three, four. And they wrote the number four. So then you're gonna count how many there are here and write that number here. How many are in this column? Write that here. This one here, this one here. This bottom part, you're gonna write the numbers in counting order kind of like we did here, okay, in counting order. Okay, pause this while you do that. All right, there's a second on your own. Are you ready? Alyssa has a group of balloons. The number of balloons is one larger than four. Circle Alyssa's group of balloons. This is hard. There's a bunch of groups of balloons. Which group is Alyssa's? She has number of balloons one larger than four. So if we were counting what comes after four, right? See, if we were counting, okay, so circle the one that has one larger than four, okay? And number six in this, you're gonna draw to represent you what you know about the counting order of numbers two, five. And then you're gonna tell your homeschool teacher about your drawing. So you're telling them what you know. All right, Math Stars, awesome job today. That was That took some really, really good thinking. So I'm proud of you. I'll see you tomorrow for math.